In the wild, speed is crucial for survival, but speed is not a problem for a cheetah, which is the fastest land animal in the world. Globally, cheetahs are famed for their running prowess and strength. Aside from their speed, there are more admirable facts that you should know about this big wild cat. Cheetahs have slender, long-legged bodies with blunt, semi-retractable claws. Their heads are small, with high-set eyes. A black tear mark runs from the inner corner of each eye down to the mouth. A cheetah's teeth are small when compared with other big cats, which accommodates their larger nasal passages that enable air intake. Cheetah's spots may serve as camouflage for both hunting and hiding. Their spots may offset the shadows in the gray-hued grasses they often inhabit, allowing them to blend in with their surroundings. Camouflage is essential not only for stalking prey, but also for protecting cheetah cubs from predators. A cheetah cub's smoky gray mantle may serve as added camouflage among dead grasses. Much like a human fingerprint, a cheetah's spots and the ring pattern of its tail are unique, enabling researchers in the field to identify individuals. Cheetahs are made for sprinting. Their slender, streamlined body allows fast runs, and their flexible spine and long legs enable the cat to take big strides. They also have oversized lungs, hearts, and breathing passages, so they're able to pump more oxygen during runs. Their long tail acts as a counterbalance when running, and semi-retractable claws enable better traction during sprints. Body lengths of cheetahs range from 1.1 to 1.5 meters, or 3.9 to 4.9 feet. Tail lengths are between 60 and 80 centimeters, or 2 to 2.6 feet, and the height at the shoulder ranges from 67 to 94 centimeters, or 2.2 to 3.1 feet. Their weights average from 21 to 72 kilograms, or 46 to 158 pounds, with the average male larger than the average female. The cheetah is an animal that once had a vast historical range that stretched across several continents, but their distribution today is much more scattered with a small number found in Iran and the majority found in sub-Saharan Africa. Although cheetahs are still found in a few different parts of eastern and southern Africa, the highest population of wild cheetah is now found in Nambia in southwestern Africa. Cheetahs are most commonly found stalking prey on the vast, open grasslands but they are also found in a variety of other habitats as well, including deserts, dense vegetation, and mountainous terrain, providing that there are adequate supplies of food and water. Cheetahs are one of Africa's most vulnerable felines, with population numbers being mainly affected by growing human settlements that encroach on their native habitats. The Proghorn Antelope of North America is one of the fastest land animals on the planet, able to reach speeds of 100 km per hour for short bursts and 40 to 50 km an hour over long distances. Why does it need such a turn of speed? There are no American predators that can sprint anywhere near fast enough to catch an adult proghorn in a straight pursuit. Well, there aren't any today. Some scientists believe that the proghorns evolved to run so quickly as a way of evading an American cat that evolved along the same lines as the African cheetah, or a Chinonex jibatus, a slender feline built for speed. This was the American cheetah. The idea of a cheetah-like animal sprinting after proghorns on the American Great Plains seems far-fetched, but prehistoric America was a very different place from the place we know today. Remains of this sprinting cat are exceedingly rare, which is what you would expect for a light, slender-boned animal that was probably uncommon. With that said, the discoveries we have to allow us to reconstruct what this animal may have looked like and how it may have lived. The bones of this animal were found in Natural Trap Cave, Wyoming, a big hole in the ground where lots of prehistoric beasts met an unfortunate end, and Crypt Cave, Nevada. Up until the late 1970s, these bones were considered to be the remains of puma-like cats. But when some experts had a really close look at the bones, it was obvious that the cat in question was no puma. Like the modern-day cheetah, its skull had a very short muzzle, which gave it a rounded appearance, and the nasal cavities were very large. In the cheetah, 
These enlarged nasal cavities allow the animal to suck in big lungfuls of air during and after high-speed chases. The similarities also extend to dentition, as the modern cheetah has an interesting arrangement of cheek teeth, allowing the upper and lower sets to act like a single set of meat shears. As the skull of the extinct American cat had the same characteristics, we can assume it had the same predatory lifestyle as the cheetah, a hunting strategy dependent on the high-speed pursuit of fast-moving prey. Thanks to its big cheek shears, the African cheetah is one of the only cats that routinely eats bones, normally parts of ribs and vertebrae. As the American cheetah's teeth are so similar, it may have done the same. It is true to say that the skeletons of the long-dead American cheetah and the African cheetah are very similar, but there are some key differences, and one of the most obvious is size. On average, a fully grown African cheetah is around 67 kilograms. Using the skeleton of the American cheetah as a guide, this extinct animal may have been more like 80 kilograms. Also, the claws of the modern cheetah are completely non-retractable, a feature that gives the cat a good grip when it is pursuing prey. The claws of the American cheetah could be fully retracted, which has led to the suggestion that this cat may not have been as specialized as the fast-running African feline we know today. The forelimbs of the American cheetah are also sturdier than today's cheetah, and they were sheathed in bigger muscles. Greater strength in the upper body, an interesting arrangement of the bones and the lower hind limbs, and retractable claws suggest that this animal may have been able to climb trees, something that today's cheetah definitely cannot do. However, these differences aside, so much of the American cheetah's skeleton is similar to the modern cheetah that it is very reasonable to assume these animals had very similar lifestyles. How was the American cheetah related to the African cheetah? You would assume that being so similar, the American cheetah and the living African cheetah would be very closely related, and it has been argued that the American cheetah could have crossed the Bering Land Bridge into Asia, eventually arriving in Africa and spawning the cheetah we know today. However, nature is never that simple and it is much more likely that these similarities arose due to the process of convergent evolution, the phenomenon by which two unrelated species end up resembling one another because they adapt to similar circumstances. Fortunately for the proghorn antelope, the American cheetah died out around 10,000 years ago. Its extinction coincides with the disappearance of many North American mammals, but what factors ultimately led to the demise of this feline are more of a mystery. Climate change was obviously a factor, and the loss of some of its prey species may have also been important. It is possible that such a specialist cat really felt the squeeze of climate change and the effect it had on its environment. The puma, a generalist predator, is still with us today, but the American cheetah was more of a one-trick cat that survived by using speed to catch a small selection of prey animals. In today's big cats, we can see the price of extreme specialization, as the living cheetah is becoming increasingly endangered as its habitats is squeezed ever harder by human activities. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Time, time, time.